where do you stand in all of this? I would gather that you have had some time to sit down and contemplate what your next move is. I know you put your heart and soul into the convention of Sunday and while it never materialized in your favor, perhaps there's still another opportunity for you to offer yourself once again. Well, I've said publicly, and it really is my position, that I will use the next few days, especially over this weekend, to do my own uh, reflection. Uh, I will be genuine with people and say that, in fact, um, Sunday's convention was a lesson learned for me in many respects. Um, and so I will put all the pieces together, and of course I've been talking to my colleagues. I've met with the party leader, the right honorable Dean Barrow as well, and uh, I have been trying to see how well I can put all of this together to determine whether or not I will place my name in the ring again. Um, I hope to do so by early next week. I was thinking maybe Monday, but it would seem that a little bit more consultation will be needed. Uh, quite, quite a few of my colleagues have have um, taken off. You know, we've been involved with this campaign for a few weeks, and so this is the first free uh, and available weekend. So um, it may be difficult to touch base with some of them, or at least all of them, on this weekend. So uh, I'm looking at uh, at some point by Tuesday or Wednesday or so, of making my final determination of whether or not I am going to contest. I'll ask you a question and I will expect from you, sir, an earnest response. You, you went believe into... I have not been giving you my earnest responses so far? You have been giving me your earnest <laughs> response, but this is a particularly <laughs> tough question I will ask you. <laughs> okay. Go going ahead. into Sunday, you were rather confident on the heels of the gala event you held the night before at the Biltmore that Absolutely. the vote of the delegates would have gone in your favor yeah. when the actual count following the election on Sunday did not seem to be in your favor and the announcement was made that in fact your opponent had won the convention. What yeah. was your immediate feeling? Well, there was a feeling of disappointment, absolutely. Um, I think that I, even during the day, uh, while the voting proceeded, I didn't get a distinct impression that we were behind, and that must have meant that, in fact, quite a few people who I had hoped were going to vote in my favor did not. Um, it had to mean, in fact, that there were some people who were disingenuous, but this is what politics is. Um, we do our best, and I certainly did my best in terms of getting out to these uh, delegates, the voters in the convention, and I tried my very best to persuade them that I ought to be given the chance to be the new leader of the party. But ultimately, as you've pointed out, when the ballots were counted at the end of the day, I was not the victor. Um, and while that is very was very disheartening for me, um, it was not the end, and I certainly uh, immediately embraced those results. You saw me stand with my colleagues on the stage and immediately offered my congratulations to the victor and, of course, pledged my support for the party continuously so that we could unite against our common enemy, which is the PUP, of course.